Hello fellow photographers and welcome to a new video tutorial where I will try to explain exactly what I think are the new rules for composition and how we're gonna use that to kind of break the rules. I will use some examples of the old rules of composition and then I will use some examples of the new rules that I've had learned to go by as the crop of an image can be what makes or breaks an image and it can be something that I use hours or even days to perfect as it really breaks an image. Normally, people say that compositions are rules that can be broken if you know how to. Well, I'm here to show you how I break those rules with new rules. First off, a classic composition advice is the rule of third. Fairly simple. You just place the important stuff in one third of a distance from any side, be it the eyes of a subject or the landscape horizon. Second, we have straight lines giving stability to the image, or lines that go from one corner to the other corner, to give it drama and motion. Third, we have balancing objects, placing objects to fill out the void of an image. Fourth, cropping the photo tight, so the user doesn't get distracted by the surroundings. Now, I'm here to show you the rules that I use to break these traditional rules. Number one, balance between light and dark. A picture doesn't have to rely on the rule of thirds as long as there is balance in the photo. I almost mean literal balance as a picture can be tipping in one side or the other, kind of making your eyes fall over the edge. This is because the weight of light and dark. All dark colors weigh a lot. That is why if we have a dark subject in one side of the image, we're gonna use some dark in the other side of the image to counterweigh it so to still create balance or we're gonna use a lot of light because light still weighs a little bit. See for example this one. Her hair is way dark and is pulling the image to one side. You can feel your eyes being dragged towards the darkness and it's slightly uncomfortable to return to her eye which is where our sight is supposed to rest. By adding light to the left side, we can create balance and your eyes can relax. Do you feel that relaxation in your eyes when that happened? Another example is this. One subject in all light. This one is funny. The subject weighs more than the pier. Even though there is light to the right, it still leans that way and it doesn't really feel pleasing. He is also looking in one direction which further makes our vision tilt over to the right edge. But again, if we just balance it out with some light to the right, it feels right. Notice how he's not even in the rule of third line, yet it's perfect. This is a great example, as it shows how the rule of third or any other composition rule doesn't apply here. Her eye is supposed to be here, because it is a subject of interest and it should be in the rule of third, but it looks dull. That is because the image is pulling away from her eye. We need something to pull it towards it, so we use the background darkness to create some gravity towards it. The hard part is listening to what you feel. It's like the movies where a bank robber tries to open the safe lock and he's listening closely for the small clicks. This is what you do. You nudge it until it clicks. Ah, uh, click. This one took me a week of getting back to every day before it finally clicked, but it was worth it. Number two, direction or the story. This one is never talked about and I've heard a lot of really great photographers say that this didn't matter at all, which is just blatantly untrue. Most places in the world, we read from left to right. This is also the case when you look at an image. For me, an image is more like a story that you read. And a story needs a good, soft start. Then it needs like a climax. And then it needs a fade out ending. For me, an open ending is much more interesting, but that's up to you to interpret. Let's take a look at an example. <sighs> All right. So let's take a look at this image and see what it tells us. First of all, we have the start. This is where we start reading. This is the left. And there's some grays and darkness and it's leading up to her. That's okay, that's okay. And we see her and it's nice. 
it's uh, I guess this is the climax and after that we move over here and it's there's some lines leading towards the camera it's it's a bit off it's not really what we want let's try just for an example to flip it all right so what's the story now now we start with the camera we start from the observer then we're led with the lines towards the subject and we're, we can see we're going up here to the arm and going up to her eyes and boom here's the climax this is her and she, there's something going on here she it's hard to tell what the story is and what she's thinking and what she's feeling and this is perfect because this is totally how a story should be for me it shouldn't be something that can just be seen and just understood immediately that's not art for me and after that we fade out into this this blackness and we're we want to return to the climax again because it's interesting all right once again we try another picture and this one starts out with darkness that's kind of cool like you don't know what's going on and then you see the climax it's kind of early isn't it like boom that's the story that's her all right so it's uh, what they call the media's rest straight on to story then it goes down here and you're like okay yeah she's just relaxing and everything and you end up in like this nothingness you can feel that you kind of want to get back to this place but I, I don't know there's some place some things going on over here and you're like kind of uh that was it so let's try to switch it all right so this is the story now we end up with a lot of light and this is very often a good thing starting out with the light because that's it's just eye-catching it's a good warm story starting out with some some skin and you go up and you see oh there's a hand here what is going to happen and you go up here and you're like oh it's beautiful right she's beautiful and she's looking up and you're led out from the picture and you're led into this world of what is going on here again and you and you just want to imagine want to imagine what is going on in this story and it fades out into black again all right that's it for now but you can still tell me what you think about all of this if it seems weird or if you have additional questions you can just let me know in the comments and if you want to use this for an image just be sure to send it to me and i'll be glad to give my few thoughts on if it worked or not bye bye